Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this. Uh, this is gonna go probably everywhere on YouTube included. So uh, I just did a mistake. I, I thought I was gonna go live inside this group, but then I went live on my page and now I just shut it down and I said, let's go live on the group because I do really wanna share something important today. But also I wanna tell you how I tackle problems, uh, my own personal one. Because in all honesty, like as coaches, you know, we always think like, uh, we always have the ability to impact a lot of people, whether it's a pool of 100 people, 1,000 people, maybe like in my case, or it's a pool of a million people, um, you know, like much of these younger guys can do sometimes, or like most famous guys. And they have, they don't really realize the, the imprint that they can give to people, right? That, you know, whatever they say has a weight and, 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 and obviously how people make decisions, sometimes they look up to these people, whether they're good models or not good models uh, and for the longest time uh, you know uh, I was an emotional leader and for the longest time this what created uh, you know I, I didn't I talk about being secure about being uh, um, having confidence right in yourself and, and for the longest time I wasn't like that I had body image issue um, created from the you know the, the probably a very imbalanced youth uh, you know when my dad passed away you know obviously you, you have a father, father figure missing and, and there is always like a lot of thing that changes and that you know you develop body image issue and then you know you start by feeling like you're not worth not good enough and then as a result then you really attach that to to an image right an image because if you look good then you're gonna feel like you're gonna if you look good then everything is gonna happen positive to your life much like when you buy a Louis Vuitton bag you feel like or like a ferrari you feel like the world almost like recognizes you but you're really buying you're not really buying a car that is like you know 10 times more performant than, than a regular car it's simply you're buying a brand that makes you feel in a certain way um and why am i even going on a tangent is simple because you don't people don't really recognize you have issues or or like like you you wanna you're able you're capable to Sometimes if you, if you believe in yourself long enough, you're able to impact other people, make them believe in yourself while almost like masking your own problems. And for the longest time, and, and I share that when I was an emotional leader, I was also a party drinker and I thought that I needed that to, to meet girls, to be, to be more feeling more attractive, to feel more connected to people. And, for the, and again, for the longest time, I was thinking the other day because now I've been in, in a little bit of a a crazy ad space and this is why in a hot minute I haven't gone live here but the problem was that I really felt a little bit like 2016 you know like we had more than 100, 100 plus clients all together um, was helping emotional either and then only for me to almost like really get into a burnout and then I, I was thinking back I'm like man my dad was depressed and you know like he got a bunch of uh, you know the pills and that you know he healed up one time and then he, he fall into that again and i hear that all the time it's like oh people tell me oh i'm depressed i'm depressed. and i always say like do you know exactly what that means because i know when i was eight years old what that means seeing my dad hiding from everybody like staying all the time by himself crying every day and like that is depression for real and you know when you're depressed you either take medicine and you want to heal up or you completely you know like you stay that way taking medicine apparently as far as we know got him to develop some compensation some the body wasn't getting rid of it and and you know there was a cardiac arrest and we found him in, in one of the probably more more traumatic events that i bet somebody could uh inside my pool outside inside um and that's was like well, that I still have flashes like it was yesterday. Like so, I, I still remember like very vividly what this thing was. But aside from that, uh, why am I saying this? Is because for sure that led a lot. That leaves a lot to somebody when you grow up. And then again, somebody is gonna have worse traumatic events. Somebody might have because because I'm, I'm I don't feel like I'm really being disadvantaged as far as that. Like it's not like I been poor or in a difficult situation or whatever so sometimes it's very hard to really 
feel, like what do you guys feel? Aside from that, there are things from my past that I've always been a rebel. I've always been like, I want to do whatever I want to do. I don't really listen to people. And, you know, one thing was that lately I was getting in a very bad headspace and I felt like all the time, again, don't go out very often, but when I go out like drinking, not really controlling myself. And then, uh, of course, you feel bad the day after. And that means like, not only you feel bad, but you also feel like, you know, you cannot really work well and so forth. And then you end up damaging a lot of relationships. And the, f the thing is that every single time this happens, then um, when you put together, when you factor the fact that, you know, like I'm constantly on a sympathetic state when it comes to the, 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 the stress system, uh, you know, my colleague told me, it's like, you need to stop this because, you know, this is what's messing you up. And I surely didn't listen. Um, I'm, told me but i'm like maybe i'm not ready for this and then i don't know what happened the other day which i went out and i still it was a similar scenario and and you know like i talked to um, someone the day after and, and you know she told me she's like you know they, they tell you that like and i said I, I feel like i'm really doing something to improve and basically this gave me a list of saying like do you are you sure because like they told you not to drink and you're, you're drinking anyway they told you not to do this they told you to try to change your sleeping habits and you're not what are you really doing? And I'm like, man, that's crazy. That's true. And it's like, the only thing I didn't know exactly how to start. Because I'm like, much like I said, you guys, and now I'm, I'm really humble. And I say, now I realize a lot of you probably feel the same way when you are doing fitness, even though we tell you what to do, you know, it's very hard to do it, but it's also very hard because it's not clear. Uh, for emotional eating, um, I get this at least once a week, um, you know, people don't know where to start. And I said, just telling yourself, I'm eight this time and I'm not going to eat next time. That's not going to work because I've done it a thousand times. And like you, the very least, you need a list of things, right? You need to just like, okay, you don't keep this in the house. You're going to count until 10 before you go to buy it. You're going to put them on top of a, of a shelf so that you need to kind of like really go with the stairs maybe to get it down. So th there is a decision, a cognitive decision making before you guys really do it, right? With the, with the party drinking or whatever, like it's the same thing. But I got to the point to say, like something clicked. And this is very cool because I have no idea what really clicks in an identity. And the, the time, I feel like the time that I'm going to be able to understand that then i'm going to be able to word it i'm going to be able to insert it into our system in our program and this will be you know 10 times more powerful i i need to understand how this works uh and not sure exactly how it is but what i can tell you is this what i can tell you is like when you get to a point that is like you understand that like you're getting really bottom you're losing control you moving out of the identity you are because until I don't know, a month ago, I really felt really secure of myself uh, like that. Lately, I was like a little bit wobbly. I'm like, mm, something is changing, something I don't like, something I feel like I cannot reflect, not only for other people, but for myself. I was feeling like I didn't really have passion for what I was doing anymore. It's like something is changing and you need to get control. And the only way you need to get control is like, rewire back is like okay why for example are you drinking why are you using food for negative emotion why are you and then it goes back to why are you stressed and why are you stressed because there is stuff in your life that you need to get rid of it might be that you live in an environment that you don't like it might be you are in a relationship you don't like and whatever you nail that whether it's a relationship and for example or too much work or a bad work you, you say okay let's analyze that point um what's going on with the work how is the job paying me? It's like, okay, I'm paying on 100K a year, whatever. How is it worth all the stress? And then you kind of say, okay, I maybe I have three, four kids. I need to do it because I need to help them, you know? Um, but if not, if you're just doing it because, just because, I'm like, this week I pulled back from working 12 hours, probably for working two hours a day, just because I just, I just closed the intake. You saw it, more of you. And, and again, sorry for those of you that got free stuff forever and then maybe you decide to work together now that's that's not gonna happen at this point it's gonna it's like we're gonna reopen the intake whenever i'm ready because also this is like 
at the end of the day, I, sh I, sh I think I showed you that I can help you, uh, the, the clients that are in, of course, you're in. But the other one, um, I feel like we just launched a summer challenge and we had three people sign up. That's kind of crazy to me and like, okay, if you're not going to sign up for something like that, that no brainer, then, then it's going to be hard for me to help you. And so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be talking tonight about two of those. The other one, she, we already um, got her into a better position because she did not, was not ready to lose weight anyway. Um, so we had to get her to get her metabolism restored first. But the point is, um, I wanted to get down my stress because I didn't want to get like another episode like 2016. And the situation is like, you, like you need to get to the point to say, what's really holding you back? What really is the problem? I mean, what created the problem? And, and as bad as it is, and as bad as it sounds, like you need to get rid of the problem. You, you might not feel like it's a problem. Your job might be something you like, but it's a problem for you. Working out six classes a week, that's a problem if you don't lose weight and if it stresses you. In a relationship, as much as you might love somebody or maybe it's a husband or something, it's like if it creates not only physical issue, but also maybe mental issues, it's like, you know, it needs to change because every single day that goes by, it's a day you don't have anymore for yourself. You're getting older from a, from a day. And I feel like if you don't understand that, that's a problem. That's a huge, huge ass problem. And so I said, one thing I'm going to do first, I'm going to stop drinking probably for a good time because like it's always like when I go out a few drinks, but that's like... <clears throat> Lately, it, was, <clears throat> it wasn't working. <clears throat> and I said, I'm going <clears> to <throat> do that and see what identity do I build on myself and see what happens. And <clears throat> somebody might say, you know, not drinking from drinking a lot or whatever is not possible. And it's right. But I'm saying just, and this is kind of like a model that I can give you to how to achieve goals in general in life. When the goals are important, when you understand that you're tired of something, you say, I am going to do that. If you, I, 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 right now I'm going to go as long as I can, as long as I feel it's right. But if you don't know that, you know, long is too long, you just say, let's try not to eat chocolate or let's try not to drink whatever, or let's try not to do something that you feel is bad for X time, maybe like a week. When you get to X to a week and it's like, oh, okay, it wasn't that difficult. Maybe I can go another week. And that is how you build a habit. And this is also how you don't feel like you're failing. Because if you go and say, I'm never going to drink ever again, or I'm never going to eat ice cream ever again or whatever, and you fail after a week, then your, your brain associates failure and makes you feel that identity is yours. So this is kind of like what, what, what I can suggest in small setting goals, in small setting goals. Um, hopefully, like you kind of like like this thing. Um, I see that you're here, some of you. Let me know if you are. Claudia, good seeing you. Uh, Claudia, and, um, I mean, I, I'm, and Norma, I'm, I will be seeing you hopefully tonight. Uh, or if, if else, if your guys are not there somehow, I'm gonna, um, you know, give a, I'm gonna say everything about your case on the video, and then I'm gonna message personally on, on you to kind of like. Um, yeah, to kind of like tell you what to do in, in pretty much everything on your onboarding from Mexico. How exciting. I wish I was there uh, as well. <laughs> I need some vacation, I guess. But the last thing I wanted to, 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 to see, and hopefully mostly is for this, for, um, for, for non-client, for prospect, for people in this group. Um, I see Monica here. Good seeing you as well. Um, and by the way, Monica, if you want to come to the onboarding tonight, that's the onboarding is for everybody tonight at 8.30, 8 um, you know, Swiss time, European time. Uh, especially for, for non-client, this one, because I guess like f with clients, we always do that already. Like we always do that. And this would be nice if this goes a little bit more viral also in, in non-clients or like in people that are here in this group. Hopefully those that want to take action. Um, and I wanted to kind of create, because I, you know, coaching is all about optimizing. Coaching is all about kind of like, again, getting you to move forward. And you can only move forward if you understand, if you're clear about doing one thing at a time. I just made the example now, but not the drinking, right? 
uh, let's say that you know that, um, and, and ch chances are you know, uh, there is something not allowing you to achieve the results that you want. Um, could be I'm eating too many, I'm snacking too much, I'm eating too much at night, I'm eating too much in front of a TV. Um, I would like you to, down below on the comment, like are doing, um, all these ladies are doing, comment, you know, or say a question, meaning like, um, I'm eating in front of a, like, I'm not able to lose weight, or I'm not able to rebalance my hormone, or how do I rebalance my, uh, you know, thyroid based on what I'm doing. It always should be like, you kind of like tell me what you want, but also like a question in regard to what you, um, what you think the problem is because what I, what I'm going to do and, and, and I want to start doing this almost as a pattern at least once a week, uh, because I feel like you, I, I really need to move you. I really need to move you either, either closer to this system so that you can actually get some results or I need you to make you understand that maybe this is, isn't the system for you. So you might just be the person that likes to go and look for supplements all day long. And, and you know what, if you're like, if you're like, between 15 and you know 18 percent and 15 percent body fat that's maybe the case if you need to lose 30 kilos uh, and you're looking for supplements or, or, or stuff like you know medicine or whatever like that's probably not the situation and so the goal is like if you ask a question and, and i can get back to you with a you know privately with a loom video like recording a, a loom video telling you this is what the situation is and and and, and that then I can even direct you to some resources and, and, and obviously just doing that, it's going to allow you to do really three things to have the tool to fix it. And then in your mind, it should allow you two things. It's like you either know how to do it, or then you're going to need to come back somehow, like in, either into a training, either into a challenge, either into something, because at the end of the day, um, it's the head, you know, that the, the coaching space is changing, but we need still to give you the, the ability to take action. Uh, taking action is taking action. It's not going from one group to another, to another podcast, to another web, you know, webinar. Uh, you're not really going to learn anything there. Like you, you feel like you're learning, but you're not moving. And if you're not moving, you're not changing. And if you're not changing, you, you have not the ability to learn something new. Um, let me know how, cause then some of you, again, uh, most actually most of you are in the beta test. Um, they're, they're like you're done with the assessment. Uh, the one that, uh, it's clear that they need to, you guys need to improve on the um, rehab metabolism. The, the resources are there. You, you can already check them out. And, and tonight I'll also give you a little bit more of an overview of how this works. Um, hopefully this help. Uh, it's a little bit of a different video. But when you, first I want to show you that, that my life, my, much like myself, like a real coach is like not somebody that is perfect. He has tons of, you know, things to improve as well. Um, but also like, I want to give you a framework every time I kind of like find something that works for myself and I will find something that works for myself from the premise of my own experience. When I feel really feel like in a dark place, then I can have to pull myself out and whatever works, chances are it can work for somebody else. But I really feel like, um, this can be helpful. Set yourself goals that you can achieve even on a two days one week, two weeks. So that's going to allow you to really feel like you're winning. And when you're winning, you can always win next time. When you feel, when you constantly feel like you're losing, that you're never going to be able to, to build a non failure like mentality. And that's crucial to improve. I'm going to see you tonight, 8.30. Um, we'll go through um, everybody relatively, um, you know, not, not quickly, but, but very much to, I'm expecting you guys to engage right away. Um, so we can get the best of it and also um we can be able to also record that one uh for the from the pro for the program talk to you soon hopefully you have a fantastic day in this finally sunny day in switzerland we had a bunch of rain everywhere including bad 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 weather things that that impacted unfortunately a lot of people some of people passed away as well that's crazy anyway hopefully the world is gonna change a little bit better moving forward take care bye bye